Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z League Preseason 2020 Week 4 of Dragon Ball Z League Episode 2 Where we're going to have matches 3 and 4 today My name is Ryan And I'm Zem And we are going to have some great matches We have the Sentai Squad versus Team Namek Sentai Squad is uh, the team where people love to do poses So if they have like a little dance or if they have a special pose to make them stronger, they're on the team. <laughs> All right, and they are facing Namek. So um, if you have not known about the update to Namek, Namek actually got adjusted to be Namekians plus their uh, creation. So as you see here on their kind of poster here, they have Nuova Shinron, and he is in this week. So this should be an interesting match between these two teams. Oh, yeah. So let's get into match number three. All right. Uh, so <laughs> what are your predictions? Oh, oh, this is going to be a close one. Uh, Sentai, some people sleep on this team, but that is definitely not a team that you sleep on. Namek is a team as well. So this will definitely be a great match. Oh, yeah. Ginyu, I know Ginyu uh, has a very good build to start the match with. Yes, Captain Guinea with defense plus three, attack minus one, eternal life, latent energy, logical. So he's a bulky, bulky boy. He's as bulky and healthy as you can be. <laughs> but uh, Tambourine uh, also has a very interesting build. Yes, so Tambourine with attack plus two, defense minus one, then day healing, serious, latent energy, quick fast attack, and light body on trunk tail. So melee, a little bit of healing. And uh, hopefully that'll be enough damage to be able to break down Captain Yinyu before he stays in too long and heals. I believe that um, Tambourine's build is a build from old seasons past where he just dominated. So maybe they're trying to uh, recapture uh, that point in time on him. Yes, it's a beautiful build. Definitely uh, built with a lot of st strategy in mind. The melee damage is fully there, light body to give him an advantage, so he's blinked by rush. So that could be another melee combo he's able to get in due to that. Uh, latent energy to offset that defense minus, and of course a little bit of Dende's, so he can just heal over time and hopefully take his man. Oh yeah, and Ginyu has stacked two, possibly three self-harms, which uh, we've modded to drain his energy, but it still gives him the boost to every single stat, so... Uh, he's going to start becoming even bulkier as the match goes on. Yes, it's all stats up, so his defense is more. That melee um, charge rate, as you saw, he charged very fast and in B2 damage. It's just a great B1 in sacrifice for all his energy. Oh, yeah, and he's keeping it even. Uh, you know, usually the heavy melee will beat out the defense. Uh and I mean, right now he's now like a bar behind, but I mean, he's been keeping it essentially even with Tambourine. And it'll be very interesting to see if we see Captain Ginyu Ooh. his trump card. I, we haven't seen it yet. It's rare that we'll see it, but maybe we'll see it now. <laughs> Those of you who are wondering what we are talking about, uh, Captain Ginyu's ultimate, uh, if it connects, he will switch bodies, body change into a list of characters and he will change into that character with full health. Um, his stats will be decreased, and he will not have any B2s, but that's pretty much like dealing with a fifth person on the team. Exactly. Oh, but sadly, we will not get to see a change as he goes down to Tambourine's overwhelming melee power. And in we wow. have Sail Woman. So Sail Woman has attack plus one, dragon power, indignation, quick fast attack, fighting spirit on Tianaon. So, all-rounder with uh, Dragon Power, so she will be winning these classes if she gets into any. Interesting, she has, like, Indignation and Fighting Spirit, but with the Attack plus one and the Quick Fast Attack. Trying to go for, I guess, like, an all-rounder with more emphasis on the melee? That's not a terrible build. The, uh, everybody's making these fantastic builds. Oh, there goes that lead. Yeah, it's now a one-bar lead, uh, in which in comes... King Piccolo, all hail King Piccolo. King Piccolo with T plus one, Kibito Secret Art, Power of Rage, Ignition, Savior, and Nadro. Oh. Will he win this class? 
he beats out the dragon power. <laughs> it's rare, uh, follow- but it's possible. You get a little bit of boost from following it up with a B2 at plus 5 to your hits, or plus 7. Oh, so wow. that might have been exactly what he needed to win up on that uh, dragon power, which is power of rage. Your name is Drum! Oh, this time it connects! It's disgusting. Ugh. <laughs> like, you can... I heard the gurgle. <laughs> like, that's how disgusting say, it is. I would say he's cheating for bringing someone else on the field, but Sentai Squad is infamous for doing that. <laughs> oh, this is her ultimate. Oh! But he was stunned. It was such a good time to use it, too. Yes, it was a beautiful dodge. Will he follow up from this grab, though? I mean, sending out some rush blasts. <laughs> Because if any team is a cheater for summoning someone else, it's definitely Sentai Squad. Doesn't, like, every member on their team summon or switch or or do uh... something illegal? <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, now that I think about it, yes. Yes, yeah, Ginyu switches and body changes into someone else. Say a woman summons Say a man. Say a man summons Say a woman. Birder summons Jace. Jace summons Birder. So it's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a weird Ooh, tag. tag team match that they're doing. <laughs> Crusher Bomb! It's Jace! Wow, that's a lot of damage. Let me see Jace's build. He has Super Plus 2, Key Minus 1, <laughs> Power of Rage, Launching Support, Savior, and Fighting Spirit. So as we see, the V2s were, will hurt. <laughs> Nail! In comes Nail. Nail with Defense Plus 3, Attack Minus 1, Eternal Life, Fighting Spirit on Freeze Out. So Ooh. similar to Captain Ginyu, but instead of going all out defense, they give him a little bit of charge. We'll see uh, if Jace is able to charge up and just connect with one B2. That's going to whittle away the defense. Yes, so, that's exactly what they need to do in order to uh, take out Nail here. <laughs> or getting behind, because that actually, uh, like, even though he, they have a defense boost on him, uh, like, hitting the character from behind actually, like, negates a little bit of that defense boost. Yes, your damage is increased if you get hit in the... Or you hit your opponent back. Yeah, so... Oh, okay, he's getting he's getting some charge up there. Will we get to see uh, purple common attack, I think it is? Ooh. There it is. Oh, no. he got hit out of it. <laughs> uh, that's so disappointing. You hate to see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Jason, Jason's throwing out some uh, B2s and stuff, but he just needs to get his, uh, he needs to go get, um, go to the uh, eye doctor just a little bit. <laughs> and that's definitely an issue he's having right now. It's not connecting B2s. It's not really doing enough damage against this nail who has all this defense and healing. <laughs> nail, you are fighting <laughs> superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, the chat has some good stuff. <laughs> oh, trying to stall, in which doesn't stalling give him a defense boost too? Like, um, I believe it gives you a defense boost, a charge, or no, not a defense boost, definitely a charge boost, and it gives him like a uh, power body, kind of like a stance effect, so he's not phased by uh, punches. Ah, and full power. Ooh, will nail throw out a B two and actually connect with it? He does. And there goes Jace. Oof. Yep, and just oh. what we were worried about. Jace wasn't able to pull off enough B2s and enough damage to uh, take out Nail. Yeah, uh, effectively only doing one bar against Nail. If a couple had connected, uh, you know, that would have been a good sh- uh, great for Sentai, but oof. And this, yeah, this tanky build on Nail uh, has now brought it to a two-on-one, essentially. Uh, seven bars that Saiyan Man now has to go through. <sighs> Anybody can do it. Hopefully it's Saiyan Man. Saiyan Man with key plus one, power of rage, launches support, height body, savior on Yajro. Charge and some clash. Well, hopefully he'll be able to charge and get some B2s out. Ooh. High speed clash. Yeah, Saiyan Man wins it. Gets all mm-hmm. that energy back. Too bad he didn't follow up with it and... It's going to be an uphill battle. Same man does not have any damage he takes will stick while Nail is just healing up over time and he still has to go through Nova Shinron. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, he didn't do too bad. I mean, he brought down Nail a bar and a half since he's come in, but he's also taken a bar. So he's got he's to gotta definitely up that damage output. Yeah, he cannot afford to go even. Oh, uh, wrong time, actually. Oh, catches him on the tail end of it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, he, he got, got that, that off? People. He got that off. Nail, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, oh. hate to see it. <laughs> Burning tornado. Ooh, that is some, that is strong damage. Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and look at Nuova's build. He has. Super plus one, launcher support, indomitable fighting spirit, indignation, fighting spirit, piccolo. So charge and B2s, and Nuova has some good B2s. Mm -hmm. And some good rush blasters right there. Just a slash, high speed clash. Uh, he wins it, and is going to get the pose off too. That was some bars. <laughs> Just a slash, high speed clash, bars. <laughs> Follow up? No. Well, no, look at this. He's using his Clash Boost as an advantage now. That's like three Clashes he's gotten into with um, Nuova and one. <laughs> Will it be enough? I, I don't think so. I think Nuova's being a little too aggressive. Ooh. Wow. The full melee combo. Yeah, about... This is going to be great. This is going to be Cold Kingdom versus Budokai. So Cold Kingdom is... Anyone who's part of the Frieza family and those that worked under him, not including Saiyans. So you, you can see that on the banner we have four of the uh, King Cold or four of the Cold family, as well as Raccoon, because the Ginyu Force worked under uh, Frieza. All right, and they are facing Team Budokai. So these is a this is a team where members have participated in any Tenkaichi Kai. As you can see, there are lots of Goku's. Goku loves him some tournaments, but this should be a fantastic match between these two teams. And uh, just to re uh, reiterate, it's participated in a official Budokai match. If you like knocked out your opponent beforehand and the match never like officially started, you don't qualify. So they had to have had a match that started with that announcer guy. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into this. This. I am excited for this. This is going to be great. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, we had a couple of uh, missteps. Builds. We had so, a couple uh, missteps with the builds. Uh oh. Yes. Cold. Right. Not one mistake, but two mistakes. So, uh, we have Metacooler with Defense plus two, Tension up, and Dendi's Healing on Trunks. That's a six point build. He was supposed to have Sirius, but the team accidentally put three Sirius, and you're only allowed to have two. Sirius per team, so Sirius was removed off of Metacooler. Ah. And on Budokai, we have Nam with Defense Plus 2, Dende's Healing, Latent Energy, Launch Support, and Freeze AI. So they're both on a defense build with healing. So um, the builds are fairly even, so it might just come down to skill between who wins out in this fight. Uh, and not to be rude, but if I had to give it to one of these two characters, I would say Nam. He doesn't have any Rush Blast to throw out. Uh, I think his melee is actually uh, just slightly better uh, than Metacoolers. But uh, Metacooler can always just interrupt one of his one of Nam's B2s. So yes, Metacooler. He is technically an android, so he charges over. He can get aggressive. Not be enough to uh, bring it back. But right now, he is definitely down. Oh yeah. Nam was uh, Nam one of the strongest solo melee fighters. He's definitely top three, if not top five, in terms of like solo melee. So uh, we will see uh, how much of a lead he might end up getting, or if Medical or could actually bring it back with a couple of good B two hits. It's an unfortunate that uh, Medical or doesn't have as serious his melee damage is supposed to be increasing. Right now he's down to. Yeah, one, but because he doesn't have that serious. Yeah, he would have um, a plus. Yeah, he'd have an extra plus one, which would give him 13%. So, but I mean, look, he's brought it back. He's less than a bar under. So, I don't know. 
Ooh, this is good. Nice little chip damage, so not too horrible. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going to sit right back. <laughs> wow. Uh, and still a fairly even fight between these two. Oh, wow. Okay. A little more damage. Uh, Zem, you are uh, cutting out a bit just to give you a uh, warning. <laughs> hmm. I'm cutting out a bit. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry for the technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, nothing we nothing we can really do. Just wanted to give you a heads up. So, uh, all right, give me your water at max power mode. That's definitely going to end up finishing uh, medical. There's no water in medical, or maybe oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here we get to see what I'm very excited about. Third form Frieza. That is the form that he is going to be starting in this week or this season. Yes, so third form Frieza has Launcher Support, Dende Ceiling, Sirius, on Frieza Eye. <laughs> Did I miss anything in what I just said? Hmm, maybe a blue Patara. So this is the other mistake that Cold made. Um, they accidentally put two defense plus two, as we saw on Metacooler. So one of them had to go, and it was unfortunately the one on Frieza. So Frieza has a five point build with no blue. Well, we'll see how that's uh, going to end up helping him. Um... I'm very excited to see uh, what Cold has been able to do with third form Frieza. I think this is the first time we've seen third form Frieza as a starter. Yes, it's, it's, it's a nice balance. You know, um, if you have two or more characters who gain health, Atara, i.e. eternal life, but if you only have one that transforms and heals, that's fine. So while Frieza himself cannot have eternal life, the whole team can still have eternal life. So essentially, if Frieza transforms into his final form, he gains a whole health bar back. So this team pretty much has a half bar health advantage over every other team due to Frieza. Oh yeah, and he takes out Nam, but he did take two bars worth of damage. Hopefully he can bring it back, but and Nam can have plenty. is early, no. Yes, early, early Goku. Goku. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So early Goku with Q plus one, Fighting Spirit, Indignation, Power of Rage, Dende's Healing on, ironically, Goku AI. Hey, it's his AI. It would work well for him. Here we go. Here's a transformation. Get some health back in the final form, Frieza, which we know is going to be uh, pretty powerful. Yes. So it's interesting that he gains health when going third to final, but he does not gain health going... So that's all the health yeah. he would get. And I mean, it makes sense that he doesn't go gain health from uh, final to muscle form because I mean, it's essentially like you know, Trunks and Broly going from a uh, you know Super Saiyan into Super Muscle form. That he does Solar Flare, full power, think, though. Yeah, that Soul Flower. I think Solar Flare hit. Soul Flower. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> And it looks like maybe these, that uh, misstep that Cold did is definitely hurting them. They are almost a whole character down right now. Well, you know, uh, that's just something that they can uh, easily fix. Just review the builds uh, before submitting them. So. But yes, now we have Raccoon. Nice. Raccoon planting some trees on Broly's planet. Some <laughs> Kakarot trees. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So, with Raccoon, with Attack Plus One, Kabuto Secret Art, Savior, Light Body, Fighting Spirit, and Master Throw, if we've already seen. Yeah, that, I'm not sure that. double damage. He wins the High Speed Clash. Uh, Interesting. Overall, ooh, Solar Flare. Overall, he d used his max power to uh, some good advantage here. It's interesting that Goku lost that, because Goku has Power of Rage. Right? Oh, Raccoon's trying for more grabs. He wants to play more carrot trees. <laughs> Raccoon is a very powerful character. Uh, both his B1s allow him pseudo power body effect, which allows him to not be flinched by punches, which allows him to get powerful grabs. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's smacking Goku around here. This is slightly a canon match. Because would you consider, like, uh... No, that would definitely be mid-Goku that would have been on Namek, but... Wow, and Raccoon has almost brought this back to an even fight. Yeah. As long as he can take out Goku. No. <laughs> and in comes the man who can't lose and who will clearly kill you in fashion, Cyborg Tao. 
So, Cyborg Tao has Q plus two, super minus one, serious, quick fast, savior, light body, and power on sub. So, mostly a melee build, but definitely some charge. Hidden blade. Ooh, blocked by Raccoon. Oh, slam him through the house, yes! <laughs> <laughs> get, get a little bit of extra damage with the building break. <laughs> And hopefully Raccoon can do a little bit more. Oh, Ooh. hate to see it. <laughs> Cyborg Cow's too small. Raccoon was just lobbing him over the head. Oh, wow, four thousand points of damage on that grab. Wow, so much damage. But is this it for Raccoon? Yeah. All right, so it's now a three v one with first form Cooler, who gets hit by a oh. There we go. Ow. 12,000 well. <laughs> points of damage, so not too bad. Nah, he already know what he definitely has on his build, big saviors. All right, First form cooler. Q uh, plus two, super minus one, fighting spirit, indignation, savior, serious, power, rage, and um, free limiter. So we will not be seeing uh, big cooler on Yajiro VI. Only takes, and here comes uh, end go to Super Saiyan one. So, and Goku Super Saiyan 1 has Super Plus 1, Fighting Spirit, Ignatian, Savior, Light Body, and a ring, so we will not be seeing Super Saiyan 2 or 3, just Super Saiyan 1. Alright, so, uh, Cooler was actually very lucky there. Goku did an ultimate of, um, Instant Kamehameha, but because Cooler was basically on the ground, it only did half damage. So a nice quick fire from and Goku, and I think this match might... It might be over. Uh, two Gokus, uh, one of which we know has Savior, I don't remember what the other one has, um, on a quarter of a bar to take out three, I don't see Cooler doing it. Yes, Cooler has no healing, so that yeah, is it. That is it. Not a bad... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> not a bad showing from Cold. Uh, just make sure, review your builds uh, to make sure you don't have like duplicates where things aren't supposed to be duplicated. And who knows, you will be able to bring it back uh, next week during the main season.